Live. Check, check, check. What's up, everybody? My name is Coach John. You can call me John. You can call me Coach. You can call me Nelson. You can call me whatever you want. Loser. You can call me that. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be doing a plyometrics class number 13. This week, we're going to focus on strength, training with the legs. I know for a fact that a lot of you are stationary, a lot of you are isolated, a lot of you have a lot of atrophy in your legs, and it may be difficult to do plyometrics and jump, especially at this time and everything. So what I want to do today is focus on strength training a little bit, some basic movements on your legs, such as squats, lunges, side lunges, lateral lunges with resistance. We're going to focus on pillar prep first, and then we're going to focus on movement prep let me know in the chat if you are watching the live stream, if you can hear me or email me if you're watching the playback and give me a thumbs up emoji or something like that. But we will focus on that. Today we'll go through uh, pillar prep, movement prep. Then we're going to go right into our strength work followed by regeneration. So I hope you guys are having a good week. If you are watching the live stream or if you're watching this live, go Lakers. They play in about 30 minutes, so I will get you guys out of here before that happens. If you're watching the playback, go Lakers. <laughs> that hasn't changed at all. At, at all, anyways. Uh, make sure you guys have a heart monitor. Make sure you guys are understanding what heart rate zone you're in. Green, yellow, red. If you do not know what heart rate zone you're in, send me a message and I will get that information to you. I'm going to turn mine on right now, and we are going to begin. Marty sitting at 122 beats. Per minute. That's because I had coffee. Anyways, hydration, water today. Okay. Feel free to get intro workout. Sometimes water isn't good enough. Okay. Especially for a workout, you do need to replace your electrolytes. You do need to replace the vitamins. You do need to replace different things your body loses. So get a light Gatorade, um, a light Powerade, get a hydration formula. If you guys have any questions for that, just feel free to email me and I'll get all that info to you let's get started of course i'm always joined by my assistant riley my norwegian elk hound as she's eating her food her dinner and we're just gonna march in place march in place okay each movement we're gonna do about 30 seconds to a minute all right if i speed up then or if i speed the time up just hit pause and then do the same movement, okay? I'm gonna move back so I can see myself on camera. If you cannot see me or hear me, please let me know, okay? It's very awkward to do class without any feedback, but I'll do it anyways, because I'm a good coach. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. From there, we're gonna go into our walkouts. So we're starting here, flat feet, shoulder length apart, walk out. All the way here, come back. Okay. Now, due to time constraints, I do mix pillar prep and movement prep together. If you don't know what those are, Google Exos, pillar prep, movement prep, and enjoy. Keep blocking the hands out. What's up, Riley? Good girl. She was used to me working out next to her and all that. So she's going to go to her spot and chill. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. If you've noticed to my right, I do have some kettlebells here. We're going to be using that if you have kettlebells at home. If not, go in your refrigerator, get a gallon of milk, gallon of orange juice, water, something resistant wise. Next, we're going to go into some air squats, nice and slow, coming down, come up. Start working that sweat, start working the heart rate up, okay? Keep going. Good. Keep pushing, guys, ladies. Hopefully, you guys are having a good week. If you're watching the playback, thank you. If you're watching live, thank you. Appreciate it. Keep going. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. From there, going into a quadruped position on your knees here. I'm going to scoot up so you can see. 
All right, I'm gonna go out, right hand up, just like I'm shaking somebody's hand. Obviously, we're not gonna do that now these days, but you know what I'm saying. Shake someone's hand, come back. By the way, speaking of shaking hands, I don't understand the elbow bump. I don't. I think coronavirus can travel to your elbow. <laughs> Just say hi from afar. Be like, yo. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Class number 13. 13 weeks of virtual Group X class. Oh, didn't think it would be this long, but it is. Cool. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Good. From there, we're going into a half kneeling position. And what I want you to do, half kneeling, right leg planted. I want you to take your knee and I want you to plant your foot. So plant your foot, take your knee, and try to get your knee all the way to your toe and come back. You're going to feel a weird pull in the knee and in the hip. Okay, plant that foot. Imagine that you're not in an apartment or in a house right now or in a condo, but you're at the beach and your foot is nice, dog of sand. And go back and forth. Good. Good. 30 seconds to a minute, guys, ladies, children. Good. Feel free to do this with your kids, guys, okay? This is a clean live show or live stream or live workout. So not my usual Coach John rhetoric. <laughs> five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to the other side, coming back. Good. Now, a lot of coaches preach mobility. Perfectly fine. I have no issue with that. I'm going to preach stability, okay? Being stable, accessing your base, being able to do strength work out of that base, which is going to enhance your plyometrics. All right, if you're just joining me right now, we're going to do a strength workout today. I'm going to give you guys a break from jumping. You're welcome. And we're going to focus on strength. Being strong helps you run faster, jump higher, accelerate better, all of that good stuff, okay? Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's go back to the air squat. We're going to go all the way to the ground now. Touch the ground. Come up. Load. Touch the ground. Come up. Load. Okay? We're focusing on pillar prep, movement prep, strength work, and recovery or regeneration, okay? Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's go body weight lunges, okay? Body weight here, coming out. You don't have to go all the way to the ground. Hold for a couple seconds and then come back. Hold for a couple seconds, come back, okay? One, two, come back. Make sure we activate, okay? Activate, activate, activate. All right? You're going to hear that a lot with different movement coaches. Make sure you activate. Keep going. Good. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. From there, we're going here. We're going to go feet together into a chair-like position, butt out. And then a slight bounce. The slight bounce is called pulsing. Okay? So we're going to activate the quadriceps, which is extremely important for plyometrics and extremely important for leg strength work. Sorry about the noise in the background, but, yeah. You know how life can be busy and home can be busy. <laughs> five seconds, five, four. Three, two, one. Good. Get something to drink real quick. Okay. 
I'm going to grab my kettlebells. You can literally grab anything in your house, guys. Literally. Go grab a milk. Go grab some water. Go grab a wine bottle. Go grab, you know, whatever you have available. Use that as resistance. I do know a lot of you have kettlebells and dumbbells. Grab those. That's going to be perfect. Okay. Next, we're going into our strength leg work. We're going to do 12 reps. I have a pod kettlebell here, which is 36 pounds. So I'm going to do that. And squat to the ground. Then we're coming up. Okay. So come down and then come up. Come down. Come on, John, why are we doing strength work today? Because strength work is essential to plyometrics. As a coach, I do a lot more than just body weight and plyometrics. Although some of you think that's all I do, I do a lot more. <laughs> Trust me. Good. Okay. That's 12. Okay, I believe that's five. If I miscounted, rock with me. Six. Good. Seven. Go on. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Good. We're going to do a 20 second break. 20 to 30 second break. Then we're going to jump right back in. Get your heart rate going. Get your legs going. If it's too light for you, go heavy. If it's too heavy for you, go light. Now, with the whole adage of you know, do, you know, lightweight for heavy reps or do heavy weight for light reps. I don't believe in that. Get as heavy as you can, do as many reps as you can. Okay, for today's workout, we will do 12 to 15. All right, heavy weight. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, let's come up. Again, if you can hear me, if you're in a live chat or live stream, let me know, okay? I do operate on feedback. It is awkward yelling into a computer screen a little bit with no feedback. But such is life now. Good. Awesome, guys. Awesome, ladies. I know you guys are probably sore from Coach Courtney's class. That's a good thing. Five seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, good. From there, we're going into a lighter weight, lateral lunge, okay? Nice and strong base, allows you to do the activation, allows you to do plyos. Here we go, three, put that in your right hand, nice and tall, three, two, one. Come down, touch the ground with the kettlebell or the gallon of milk or the orange juice or the vacuum. Or your dog, their cat, only if they allow that. Okay? That was a joke. Good. Only here we're gonna do eight while we're here. Okay, I believe that is four. All right. My counting is off today. Five, just giving you a fair warning. Six. Good. Seven. One more. Eight. Awesome. 30 second break. Let your heart notice what heart rate zone you're in, green, yellow, red. If you don't know what that means, shoot me an email, jonathan.nelson at teamexos.com. And I will walk you through what's called energy systems development, a.k.a. cardio. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One. Good. Two. Excellent. Keep going, guys. Three. Good. Let's get eight. Four. Good. Up. Five. Check your heart rate. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. Good. Get something to drink. Hydrate. Wipe the sweat off. Check your heart rate. All of that good stuff. Now the next move, we're gonna do a squat and kind of mimic the broad jump, okay? So, John, we're not jumping. Yeah, we're not jumping. 
We're going to squat, step ahead like we're doing the broad jump, and then come back down. So let me walk through it real quick, and then I'll show you guys. And ladies, grab something lighter. Okay, backpack. Backpack works great too. So come in here, squat, step forward, squat, step backwards. Now, pay attention. I squat, I step forward with my left. If I am right-handed, I'm going to step forward with my left. I'm gonna step backwards with my right. If you are left-handed, step forward with your right and step back with your left. If that confuses you, say that five times fast and pick a side. That will work. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do five. Load, come up, step forward, load, come up, step back. Load, come up, step forward, load, come up, step back. Two is one, by the way, so that's two, okay? Forward, step back, that's three, okay? So we're actually doing 10 weighted squats, good. Four, one more, step forward, step back, good, and five, good. Break, okay? Grab that heavy uh, item in your house, and we're gonna swing it in a second. 30 second break, give yourself a rest. Okay, calm your heart rate down. Wipe the sweat from your eyes. I'm growing my hair back out, if you can see. So the sweat is no longer going into my eyes during class. Fun times. Here we go, we're gonna go to kettlebell swing, or a wine bottle swing, or whatever you have available. Backpack, I have a backpack right here, guys. Okay, my Adidas backpack. So, backpack here, okay, coming down. Grab your kids' school books, if they're in school or not, or if they're at home, grab your thing. And then what you do is same thing as a kettlebell, come up, swing, come up, swing, come up, swing, okay? Here we go. Kettlebell here. Three, ten, two, ten, one, ten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Good. Break. Now, we're going to do what's called a Russian kettlebell swing. Okay, I know Russia gets a lot of negative press. But we're doing a Russian kettlebell swing. It works better than the American. The American, you extend over your head. It's really a nonsense move. I don't like it at all. So I don't coach it. Okay? Here we go. Same thing. We're going to do five. Same thing. We're going to do five. We're going to go back to ten. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, and break. Good. Grab some of the drink if you need it. Check your heart. Okay. I wonder if you guys have the old school, the heart straps under your chest that they used to have back in the day or a couple years ago. Yeah. Technology is changing. It's always a good thing. Good. Finish up. 10-second break. Then we're going to go back to 10 swings, and then we'll get a break. Hydration. Okay. Three. Two, one, one, two, three, four, keep going, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and get some to drink. Good. Excellent, guys, ladies, kids, dogs, cats, everybody. Good job. Good. Take a breather. Then we're going into one more strength move. And then we're going to go into regen. Good. One more strength move here. Okay. Kettlebell in your left hand. Going into a right foot lunge. We're going to do five each side. Then regen. Three, two, one. We'll come down. One. 
And down, two. Notice I'm not going down all the way. I want you to go about a quarter of the way. Three, good. Down, four, excellent. And five, good. Same thing on the other side, 20 second break. If your back is bothering you, take a pause, okay? Hit pause if you're on the playback or if you're live, you know, just turn your computer screen the other way. <laughs> Here we go, other side, same thing. Three, two, one, let's go. One, good, come down. Two, kettlebell on the right hand. Gallon of water in the right hand. Three, good, keep pushing. Four, excellent, and five, good. Some of the drink, guys, some of the drink, ladies. Let's get into regeneration, okay? We have a lot of training components at Exos, so it's hard to fit everything in 30 minutes, but we will give you a good synopsis of everything. Good. Here we go. Regeneration, coming here, going to the air squat. We're gonna go into a deep squat here, okay? Deep squat, all the way to the ground, touch the ground if you can, and then you're gonna extend your butt back, put your legs straight, Feel the hold, okay? We're heading out down here, all right? We're coming over here. Then we're just gonna hold five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna walk our hands over to our left foot. Strain that leg out, guys. If you have a towel, wipe your sweat off. I'm getting sweat all over my carpet, but I will vacuum when class is over. Good. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back here, okay? Going back to what we did initially in the workout during uh, movement prep. So hip flexor, okay? Bend that leg, move that knee forward, okay? Back when I had a million and one knee surgeries, my uh, doctorate of physical therapy, uh, taught me this movement, and I'm forever grateful for it because it helps keep my leg in one piece. So it's always a good thing. Although I might want to do class with one leg one of these days. Who knows? Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch sides. We're coming back here, okay? Regeneration, recovery, using technology, using recovery techniques is just as important, if not more important, than working out or doing a class, okay? As a coach, I want you to get results. I want you to have increased athletic performance, and I want you to reduce, reduce excuse me, the risk of injuries. Tongue twister right there. It's very important to me as a coach. We do not pay attention as a human species enough to regeneration and recovery. At Exos, we are redefining that. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're going back to air squat. Nice and slow. All the way down. Come up. All the way down. Come up. All the way down. Come up. Nice and slow, ladies. Nice and slow, fellas. Make sure your feet are planted. This is going to give us the strength and the center of mass, the center of balance for plyometrics. Strength training will increase plyometrics. Scientifically proven, okay? If you guys want the actual math behind it, I can send that to you too. A little bit of physics. Five seconds, five, four, Three, two, one. Good. Come in here. Straight legs out. We're going to lean. We're going to take our left hand, touch the right toe, lean, and hold. Okay, drop your right hand. Lean and hold. Straight leg. Feel that stretch in the groin. Remember, you guys are sitting down most of the day. A lot of you are. So a lot of you have a lot of atrophy issues with your legs. 
So we're going to address that. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, last one here. Drop the left, okay? If you notice resting yourself on the leg, just take that hand away. Good. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. For those of you that we work together or we're at a contracted site, uh, we do have a challenge on the way. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. If you guys need anything, coach consultations, uh, workout plans, being able to move, there are some things that are reopening now. Uh, my outdoor court by my apartment complex at a sport complex is reopened, and I'm very thankful for that. I am doing everything by myself, of course, and being safe and wearing a mask and all that good stuff. But anyways, if you guys need anything, let me know. Feel free. Reach out to me. Email me. Email the team. I encourage you to check out all the classes. We're all very good coaches and all that. So I will see you guys next week. Have fun. Have a safe evening. Have a safe week. Have a good weekend. Whenever you're watching this, go Lakers.